our universe has three main components. Two of them are mysterious, and one of them is very complicated. But that's life. So let's start with the stuff we know. The stuff we know is called baryonic matter for various reasons that I don't want to get into. Uh, it's just called that way because... Uh, it means heavy, but it's not really it just just forget about it. See, that's why I didn't want to get into it. Baryonic matter, you, you are made of baryonic matter. We're talking about protons and neutrons and electrons. If you know, sometimes people include electrons, sometimes not. See, I, I told you it's complicated. Anyway, the key thing with baryonic matter is that it interacts with light. So you can absorb light, you can emit light, you can reflect light, you can refract light, you, like you, you can do all sorts of things with light. Like you talk to light. So you are made of baryonic matter. Uh, the planet Earth is made of baryonic matter. The sun is made of baryonic matter. The All the stars that you see in the sky and all the nebulae and all the supernova and everything are all made of baryonic matter. When you look at a telescope at a distant galaxy, you're seeing a big glowing lump of baryonic matter. Baryonic matter makes up less than 5% of all the stuff in the universe. That's right, 5%. 5%. That's 1 20th of all the contents of the universe are baryonic matter. And why is that a big deal? Because baryonic matter is the only kind of matter that we actually understand. We have this standard model of particle physics. We, we understand quarks. We understand gluons. We understand the weak nuclear force. Like we understand all this complicated physics. It took us centuries to figure out, and it turns out it's one twentieth of the puzzle. Ninety-five percent, and this is a, such a beautiful takeaway. Ninety-five percent of the contents of the universe are of a form unknown to physics. We know that we don't know what 95% of the universe is made of. Now, split that 95% is split into two categories. One of the categories, taking up roughly 20%, 20 to 25% of the universe, is something called dark matter. Now, we know that dark matter exists because when we look at galaxies and we look at the motions of stars and galaxies, or we look at the motions of galaxies inside of clusters, or we look at the growth of cosmic structures over time, or we look at images from the very early universe from 13.8 billion years ago, there has to be more stuff than what is visible. Because there's a lot more gravity going on then is just explainable. Like if you look at two objects and they're interacting through gravity, uh, like, a, like a galaxy, the stars in a galaxy are orbiting so quickly that the galaxy should have just flung themselves apart unless there is an, an additional invisible component of matter in that galaxy. And then we repeat that argument all over the place and we end up with the conclusion of dark matter. Now, it could be that our laws of physics are wrong, that we're not understanding relativity, but relativity has passed every single observational test that we've thrown at it. So we don't think that's it. We really think there's something new out there. Just it's, it's a form of matter that doesn't interact with light. A better name for dark matter is invisible matter. This dark matter makes up, like I said, 20 to 25% of the contents of the universe. It is the dominant form of matter in our universe and it's completely invisible. We suspect, we suspect that there's dark matter like flowing through this room right now and it's flowing through your room right now, it's throwing, flowing through the earth, but because it doesn't interact with light, it doesn't really interact with normal matter. It just slips on by. The only way we know it exists is through its gravitational influence on normal matter. So that when you look at it like a, a galaxy and you see all the pretty spiral arms and all the stars and stuff and it looks all cute, that little galaxy is actually embedded in a much larger halo. We use the word halo of dark matter, like a giant ball of dark matter. And at the very center is a little incy beansy galaxy. In fact, Everything we know about the growth of structures means you can't even form a galaxy without a big pool of dark matter there. So if there were no dark, there was no dark matter, you couldn't even form galaxies in the first place. We have evidence for dark matter everywhere. We have no idea what it's made of. 
We suspect it's a new particle, a particle, a fundamental particle that we haven't inter interacted with or seen before, but we don't know what it is. That leaves the rest of the contents of the universe, and that is something we call dark energy. Dark energy takes up between eh, 65 to 70% of the total contents of the universe. And if you thought dark matter was mysterious, which it is, Dark energy is just, we got no idea. We discovered dark energy in the late 1990s when we were examining distant supernova. We found that the supernova were actually dimmer than they should have been, which means they were moving away from us faster than they should have been. They were farther away than they should have been. The only way to explain that, that fits with all the other available evidence, is that the expansion of our universe is accelerating. Now, the expansion of our universe, that's not such a big deal. We've known about that for 100 years. But the accelerated expansion of the universe, that's a new thing. That's what cropped up in the late 1990s. Nowadays, we have scores of evidence for dark energy, which is we just call that that. By the way, that accelerated expansion of the universe, the name we have for that is dark energy. They're the same thing. In order to get this rate of cosmic expansion, you need a certain amount of dark energy, and that certain amount of dark energy makes it fill out like 65-70% of the contents of the universe. We suspect it has something to do with the vacuum of space-time itself. We suspect that as something that is like baked into the universe, like it's just part of the universe, like if you have a chunk of random empty universe, you actually have a big bag of dark energy. Beyond that, we have no idea what it is. We don't know if we're getting physics wrong. We, don't, we just don't know. We don't know. So there we go. All this work, and we're not even 120th of the way through. Thank you so much for watching. Go to patreon.com slash Sutter. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Maybe we'll have an answer then.